Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so I'm just sitting here playing Arkham Knight. It just now released, literally like two hours ago. It's like two o'clock in the morning. It released at about midnight, and I'm about an hour into the game, and I see the cutscene of the Arkham Knight, and I get an idea. So uh, I'm just gonna show you the cutscene. Well, there's actually two, but I'll show you the first cutscene right now. Also, I wasn't recording, so I got this from some dude's Let's Play on YouTube, so that's why there's the little thing in the bottom right. Any word from inside? Nothing. We think there's a skeleton crew left in there, but they're not responding and the facility's locked down. If they're still alive, I'll find them. They should be able to tell us what Scarecrow's up to. What the hell? of yours stay here and I'll go find out so that's the first cutscene and now I'll show you the second cutscene it's not really a cutscene but it's just a voice you can hear the voice of the Arkham Knight and I think uh, Scarecrow talking so here's that this is perfect I can release the bat scanner and search for the workers. I've managed to intercept some radio traffic between Scarecrow and this Arkham Knight. Relaying it to you now. I had him in my sights. I could have ended it right there. We have not broken him yet. It will come. Now I've waited long enough. That man dies. Tonight. Why do you hate him so much? You can never understand. Your revenge is at hand. This is his last night. I'll make sure of it. Any idea who the Arkham Knight is? Sounds like the two of you might have some history. I've made a lot of enemies. So, there are three main points that I want to point out in those two clips. In the first clip, Scarecrow says to the Arkham Knight, Your vengeance will come. Then, in the second clip, he says, the Arkham Knight says, no, I've waited long enough. And then Scarecrow, a little bit later, says, why do you hate him so much? And the Arkham Knight says, you could never understand. So, my theory is that the Arkham Knight is the Joker. Because he says, I've waited long enough, and it's been a while since Arkham City when Joker supposedly died. But... Um, if you look up Joker Alive theories from Arkham City, you can see that whenever um, the Batman has the, um, what is it, the, like the cure to the disease that the Joker has, whenever he passes out in the very end, it's in his, it's like in his left hand, and then whenever he wakes up, it's in his right hand. So, you know, a game developer is not just going to mess up like that. They have control of every single detail, and that's not just an accident that it flipped hands. So, my theory, and a lot of people's theories, is that the Joker, while the Batman was out, got the serum or whatever, the cure, used it and put it in the wrong hand, and then didn't let Batman know, of course. So, also, in the very beginning of the game, literally the first scene, you see the Joker get cremated, but I don't really believe that he actually died. Oh, I mean, it, it. why would they have that in the game at all? Because you saw him die in the end of Arkham City, why would you see him cremated?
cremated unless he has some bigger impact on this game, such as being the Arkham Knight. I don't know, I could be way off, but just the way that they were talking during those cutscenes, plus the appearance of the Joker in the very first game, which I didn't show, you can just look up a walkthrough and see it. Like, it's literally the first thing that you see in the game. But the, just the way they were talking in that, I, I, I think that the Arkham Knight is Joker. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, so thank you for watching, and comment, rate, and subscribe for more.